Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. Today we have a very special car, especially because not a lot of people cover this. This is the Mercedes AMG GT43 four-door coupe with a turbo formatic plus system. So in this video I will show you the complete exterior interior and you will take it for a drive and I will show you the differences between this and the GT63. So let's first start with the front of the car. I've got the key in my hand. It's a new design of Mercedes AMG with an Affaltebach AMG emblem on the back side. It also has an AMG emblem here in the front. So let's unlock it and pay attention to the headlights, how they illuminate in a very bright white color. And this particular 43 is well equipped. It has the carbon package. You can see that here from the carbon details in the headlights. The differences from this and the GT63 are especially noticeable here in the front bumpers. These bumpers are more elegant and less aggressive. Here you can see it has 14 lines for the Panamericana grille. It's gorgeous. And on the lower part of the front bumpers, it has nine lines, whereas on the 63, only three. It also has an AMG emblem on the right side and a gorgeous Mercedes star in the center. But the thing is, if you see this car standing outside, it's easy to mistake that you think this is the 63 model. It's very similar. And let's move over to the side of the car. I will just unlock it again. Make sure it stays open. And here you can see it is a very long car. It is over five meters long and it has a gorgeous curvy side, especially here in the front with the Turbo Formatic Plus emblem and the gorgeous alloy wheels with multi-spoke design in a matte black color. It also has the ceramic brakes in orange and the size of the tires are 275, 35, 21 inch. So let's move over to the rear side and here you notice the coupe line and just above this gorgeous rims you see the curvy shape again. The spoiler is folded out and in just a minute I will show you the interior and how to fold in the rear spoiler. And the total width of this GT43 is a staggering 1 meter and 95 centimeters. I will just show you the gorgeous tail lights as I unlock the car again. Just pay attention to how it moves. With a new facelift GT style. And these are the 43 exhaust tips. Pretty wide and the same design as the 53, around 9 cm in width. It has the AMG emblem on the right side and the GT43 emblem on the other side. So now it's time to have a look at the trunk space. I will just open it with my foot. It has the keyless entry. And as you can see it has a lot of trunk space, especially due to the coupe line. It opens very wide. It has around 400 liters of trunk capacity. And as you can see, I have my Mercedes bag right here and space for a lot more. It also has these buttons to flip over the rear seats. So let's press the right one. And you can also fold the left one. Now the trunk has a capacity of 1200 liters. So let's close it and we will have a look at the interior. So I will just close the door and pay attention to the screen in front of us, the front of the GT43. It has driven only 57 kilometers, very new. I will just press the button for the electronics to work. 
Here it says AMG. And it has gorgeous ambient lighting in the interior. In a blue color. It also has the carbon package as well as the interior. So a lot of carbon fiber here at the center console as well as the dash. I just hovered over with my finger over the media, telephone, radio, navigation as well as the cameras. So let me press the button again for the system to work. Here it has a V shape at the center console. Just like the GT two-door models. With a button to change the driving characteristics. Exhaust button. So you can press the spoiler button for it to come out. And you have to press and hold it manually for it to retract. And you can put the transmission into manual or automatic. It also has the suspension button, comfort, sport and sport plus. So let's open the cup holder section and you can notice it has NFC connectivity and a wireless charger for your phone. Temperature settings and if I increase the temperature you will see it becomes red also for the passenger side. It has the Burmester surround sound system and the seat adjustments. You can adjust it in seven different ways including the headrest. This is the super sport design. It has the touchpads on the steering wheel. You can press the home button and then swipe to the left and right for your different settings. So let's go all the way to the right to design. Currently on the Super Sport, let's have a look at the Classic. It has the speedometer on the left and the rounds per minute on the right. But you can also change the content over here. Sport and again Super Sport. Also the heads up display. You can change the position. And also the content to, for example, Super AMG. More to the left, it also has the AMG performance view for the boost, engine temperature and g-force. So let's start the engine and you will listen to the sound. It's currently in Sport Plus. especially compared to the C43. Also soft closing here at the rear doors. So as I'm sitting here, I'm actually very surprised because my leg room is enormous. Headspace is decent. I'm just touching the roof a little. But check this out. You can lay down here relaxed. And it has sportive seats in a cup form of way. Burma's surround sound system with heated seats option. 
and the carbon fiber on the door side. It also has the ambient lighting which changes in color as we speak. The thermometric climate control with also here the turbine style air vents but a little bit smaller. So guys, let's have a look at what's under the bonnet of this AMG GT43. And here you can see it has a new gorgeous 3 liter 6 in line engine produced by AMG. It produces 370 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. From 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 5 seconds and the top speed is limited to 270 km an hour because it has the AMG performance package. So I will just close the bonnet and we will take this car for a drive outside. 